This week, Flames young gun Valerie Burry. The NHL Players Association presents Be a Player, the Hockey Show. Brought to you by EA Sports NHL 2001. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Welcome to Be a Player, the Hockey Show, coming to you this week from Calgary, Alberta. I'm Brett Linderos, and we've got an action-packed half hour coming your way. Flames young gun, Valerie Bure, is our feature player, and Valerie's going to show us how he stays in shape away from the rink. And let me tell you, he's no one-dimensional athlete. On After the Game, we catch up with Red Wing legend and Hall of Famer Alex Del Vecchio. But first, next generation, and this week's feature, David Vaborny of the Columbus Blue Jackets. At 25, David is playing in his first full season in the NHL since coming over from his native Czech Republic. Here's David on Next Generation. Next Generation, brought to you by Gatorade. Is it in you? Coach tell me before every game, you must more shots, more shots, and I try, but uh, I like to pass, and I don't know what's my role, but uh, I try to play good uh, offensively, but we must start at everyone play good defense, okay, but, you know, started from defense, playing good offense. First time I play one year in far team to others, Cape Breton, and I play all year here, and after this year I go back to Czech, and I try to back the national team, you know, and I try back to North America, but I want to play NHL, not the minor hockey. I play almost every game with Stevie Hines, this great guy is 30 year olds and he played, I don't know, 10 years here and he's very good and almost almost every game I play with Taylor Wright. He's a great guy, he's a great friend and he helped me whatever I was saying and he helped me. We must be better in, in start start game. If we score first first goal we are we are very very great deep, great team but if we sometimes losing two or three nothing it's so bad for us, but we try, and we st I think we start now play a little bit good defense, and I think we play better. Here's Viborny, scores, David Viborny. I want to try play every game for Blue Jackets, and uh, coach gives me great chance, and I want to just play good, and I try concentration for every game, and try focus every night. It's now time for the Be A Player trivia question. To play along, send your answer to the NHLPA's website at www.nhlpa.com slash be a player. All correct answers will be entered in a random draw with a chance to win an NHL 2001 video game courtesy of EA Sports or an autographed NHLPA jersey. For complete contest rules, check out nhlpa.com. Only two players have won the Hart Trophy with two different teams. Name them. Later in the show, Valerie plays an ace. Let me see some spin. <laughs> Trying to kill me. We on That's an ace. Side? What is going on? <laughs> hey. This week on Hit Parade, our plays rock with Lifehouse and Hanging by a Moment. player gives you a chance to ask your favorite NHL player a question. For your chance to participate, 
Visit NHLPA.com. Nathan Pauls from Tabor, Alberta, asked Martin Brodeur, how do you focus on the puck when it's going so fast? Here's Martin's reply. I don't know, it's a good question. <laughs> um, I don't know, you just keep your eyes on it. You know, it comes fast, but you know, when funny things happen when you just look at the puck, you know, people think sometimes because it's so fast, you can't see it. But when you keep your eyes on it, usually a good chance you're going to stop it. I'm here at the CHL's Top Prospect Game, an annual event that showcases the best junior talent eligible for the upcoming NHL draft. Now, this is the second time Calgary has hosted this event, and they love it here in the West. Now, there's major NHL scouts here, and along with Bobby Orr and Don Cherry coaching their respective teams, should be a lot of fun. Now, Val Bure was certainly a top prospect back when he played for the WHL's Spokane Chiefs. Here's part one of our Be A Player profile with the Flame Sniper. He leads the club and power play goals, and they score a power play goal. Moving in with Bure, holds on to it, over to Val Bure, quick shot, scores! Val, growing up, how sports oriented would you say your household was? Uh, quite a bit. Uh, you know, my dad was uh, into sports. He was an Olympic swimmer. He was really good at it. And my uh, grandfather was an uh, Olympic uh, athlete as well. He was a water polo goalie. So uh, my dad loved, uh, he still loves, you know, he works for New Jersey right now. And uh, it was a lot of sports all around. I think he took a lot of time and uh, passion and his heart into uh, what we achieved, I guess. Talk about your decision to come over to North America back in 1991 uh, with Pavel. Well, uh, it was a hard decision for me. Uh, obviously, for my brother, he was drafted, and you know we wanted to leave, and so he can play for Vancouver Canucks and National Hockey League. For me, I was at the stage where I just made a Red Army team, and uh, I was on my way to make a national team, and uh, that's pretty prestige and uh, important for every player back home. And first game I watched of uh, WHL, uh, me and my dad would just laugh. We were laughing so hard because I go, I, I wouldn't be able to play here. It was just like crazy fights, and the guy's a lot bigger, stronger, and uh, they just want to take your hat off, basically. That's what it is. So I'm like, I can't play in here. But once I stepped on the ice and did my thing, you know, I used my speed and uh, adjusted pretty, pretty quickly. Why do you think your game has improved so much coming to Calgary? Uh, confidence more than anything. I, I know if I make a mistake, it's, it's not a big deal, which before I was afraid to do that. You know, you're afraid to make a mistake. You think, you know, if you're going to lose the puck, then you're not going to play ever again. So uh, just to build the confidence. And once you have that confidence, you do beat the guy one-on-one -on -one and you're relaxed with it. So uh, different mentality helps a lot. Your first All-Star appearance uh, came as a result of your great year last year. What was that like? It was great. I mean, uh, uh, first of all, you know, it's nice to make an all-star team, there's no question about that. Then uh, my mom flew in. My wife was like two weeks from a due date, and she flew in, and uh, so many people, so many friends and family were there. It was just a nice time, and me and my brother, they put us in the same line, and we're like, whoa, that's it. That's pretty cool. And I set up my brother for a couple goals, and uh, it was just a blast. This team has been through a, rough, a couple of rough spots. Uh, earlier in the season, you were a healthy scratch. That motivate you at all to get back in the game? Uh, tell you the truth, I'm not one of those guys who would that motivate. Um, it got me frustrated. Uh, I talked to a coach and basically uh, we couldn't understand each other. And uh, there's a few issues between Don and me and uh, we tried to put that aside. And uh, you know, when I did come back, I just decided to play my game. My game was a skating and kind of handling the puck and being in control more than anything. Uh, before he wanted me to do the stuff that uh, I'm not, I just, it's not me and I would not be successful by doing it. He was just one, you know, me kind of to stay high or watch the play and I was just without the puck all the time and I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. And I want to get in there, get the puck, get out with the puck and go to the net and uh, it was not happening. So uh, since then it seems like it worked out pretty well. You mentioned your wife. Being a celebrity yourself, is it easier to have someone who understands you know, what the public wants, what the media wants, uh, that kind of a thing? Does it make the relationship a bit easier? 
Uh, it helps quite a bit, you know, especially she's in that business where, you know, that's all it is to it, media and, uh, you know, she's been in front of the camera and uh, she loves that. And you also have two babies now, your family man, how has that uh, sort of changed your outlook on uh, the game and life, I guess? Uh, I absolutely love it. I mean, I think it's the greatest thing. My two-year-old just starting to speak and understand things and when she's going to the games and I look in his hands and then she just goes crazy and uh, my one-year-old, he just start to get excited when I came home. I don't think you can explain until you have it your own and just held him and uh, see them smiling at you, it's the best. One of the best places to shoot on a goaltender when you're in tight is upstairs in the top corner. With action happening right in front of the net, nowadays all goaltenders take away the bottom half of the net. The sooner you get in the habit of going upstairs, the more success you'll have. With traffic in front of the net, goaltenders' instincts are to go down and take away the bottom half. Stu Barnes reads Brian Boucher and goes right up underneath the bar. Now a tough play for a goaltender is going post to post. Tommy Sallow almost gets across. But Patrice Brisebois goes upstairs. Now the critical play here for Brisebois is reading Sallow. Look at Sallow how when he comes across has the bottom half taken away. He's got his glove in position, stick there. All there is is top net and Brisebois makes the play. So many times though, goaltenders will make you look bad if you don't. Take Dominic Hasek for instance, look at him stay down. If you don't get the puck up, you'll have trouble having success. Now you may not have to score on the dominator, but if you get in the habit of going upstairs, you'll be a lot better off. We're here now in the Flames workout facility. You regularly see players in here after practices and games. If you want to last in this league, you have to work out year round. Now one of the ways Flames young gun Valerie Bure stays in shape is by playing tennis. I challenge him to a match at a nearby indoor facility and can this guy play? I got to see those quick reflexes firsthand. Here's part two of my visit with Valerie Bure. Val, we're here at the Glencoe Club in Calgary. It's obviously a tennis place, and before we get to our match, I want to ask you about how you first got involved with the game. Well, I was about seven years old, and um, my dad was really into uh, sports, and he introduced me to tennis, and since then I just loved it. Now, you seem like you're a pretty good player. We were talking a little bit earlier. How's your game? Uh, I'm okay. You know, I can hit the ball here and there, but uh, I wouldn't mind to get some help. You need some help? That's exactly what I was thinking. Hey, Kevin, I'm Brett. Hi, this is Val. Kevin. Pleasure. Nice You're to meet the you. head pro here at the Glencoe Club, yep. and uh, we need some help. No problem, guys. We can help you out. That's all I've got. That's Val, all I've got. Val looks like he's got a pretty good serve. He's got a pretty good serve. Couldn't hear that's that. Power. Now, could that's you? power. That's power. You hear that? Stand up taller. Stand up taller. Well, yeah. he's 65 anyway. Likes that power. I got he it. likes the power. I right? like hitting it hard. My grip's bad? Yeah. All if right. you look at Valerie's grip. Val, let's see your grip. The difference is, is yours is a frying pan. All right. And his is more like a, a backhand. Yeah. That's right. why he can put so much spin on his serve. <laughs> Isn't that golf, guys? Come on. So slow it down 10%. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Slow that's it down. Nice. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. yeah. It holds it better. <laughs> I've never done a two-handed backhand, so this could be interesting. Okay. Here we go. Val looks like he's done it a few times. Good. Now keep going. Keep going, Val. Ready, Brett? Yep. Oh, you I'm just in. jump in. Ooh, a little low. Higher. Higher? Okay. <laughs> Higher. See where he finishes? Look how high he finishes. Lots of power. Ooh, power, power, ooh, power, 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 he wants the power. Where's your power? Yeah. Oh, see? <laughs> Get it over, Val. Kevin, this is going so good. See that? Oh, man. This, oh, is, yeah. this is good. I think I'm ready. This is good. Val, what do you think? I'm you ready afraid. For I'm game? afraid of him. All right, this is serious. We'll see how it goes. How do you think it's going to go? I think you're going to win, but you know, it's TV, so anything can happen. <laughs> it means I got good editors. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, another one. We on That's an eight. What is going on? <laughs> hey. Fifteen. Fifteen. I got my point. Oh. Unforced error, I'll take it. I'm not afraid of that, Val. Come on, Val. Let me see some spin. <laughs> Trying to kill me. It's enough, Yuri. That's long. That was it. Yeah? You started to cheat, huh? <laughs> well, I figure that's the only way I'm gonna win. <laughs> I'm gonna win on unforced errors. I think I'm gonna win by the home runs. <laughs> <laughs> that's first game to you. That's an ace. I don't know, is that it? That I didn't is an like... ace. He goes for every point. Hey Val, next point wins. Whoa. You ace me. Uh, you know, can I say? On that, baby. <laughs> Just like the professionals. That's right. Good game. Thanks very much. Thank you for having me. You're a very good opponent. Coming up on After the Game, Hall of Famer Alex Del Vecchio. It was an unbelievable uh, experience to just come up your first year and be on a Stanley Cup team. Be a player, the hockey show, sponsored by EA Sports NHL 2001. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Welcome back. Horses are a pretty common sight here in Calgary. Aside from the world famous Calgary Stampede, where it seems half the city is on horseback, there's Spruce Meadows Stables. Now, Spruce Meadows is a world renowned equestrian facility. In fact, last year alone, over 300,000 people visited here to check out some premier show jumping. I'm going to take off on Worthington, Ian Miller's parade horse, while you guys check out Alex Del Vecchio on After the Game. In 24 seasons as a Detroit Red Wing, Alex Del Vecchio forged a legendary career that saw him win three Stanley Cups, three Lady Bing trophies, with 13 All-Star appearances. He was just the third player in NHL history to score over 1,000 points. And upon his retirement in 1974, he was second to only his teammate, Gordie Howe, for most games played, seasons played, assists, and points. He was a hero in what is often considered the golden age of hockey. We traveled by train or by bus, and so there was always a lot of conversation. Uh, after a game, you went and got into your Pullman coach, and. Uh, you know, you'd get four or five guys sit on a bunk and you'd rehash the events of the night's game. And uh, I think we were a lot closer knit and had more compassion, shall we say, for everyone on the team. It was an unbelievable uh, experience to just come up your first year and be on a Stanley Cup team. It was only two series, uh, best of sevens, and we won it in uh, eight straight games. Uh, I got myself a couple goals in that playoff series, so it was just like being in heaven. It's the first time I'd been on a championship team in all of my hockey career. The Detroit Red Wings have won the Stanley Cup. Even before his playing days were through, Del Vecchio planned ahead and opened up his own promotional business, Alex Del Vecchio Enterprises. I guess you would call it uh, customer appreciation products where businesses buy things to give out with their logos, names on it. Uh, a lot of ball caps and sweaters and shirts with company logos on because they all like to see their name on a product uh, and we try to supply them with that product. This here is a display of uh, a lot of the mugs we've done for different companies and uh, ceramics and the glass and the people we deal with hand them out to customers and mugs seem to be one of the most popular deals in our business right now. We do a lot of engraving in that in-house for office uh, buildings and professional people, uh, signs and that. And, uh, I like to go out and sell, I like to work in the shop, uh, you know, with my hands and create things and make things and I remember when I took over we had the old manual engraving machines now I've had to learn about computers a little and we have computer engravers and laser engravers so 
Uh, it's interesting work and it's a deviation that doesn't get boring at all. You never know what you're going to do. I'm not about to retire and just sit home and play golf or, or that. I like to be out and mingle and uh, I think it helps. Uh, I get an opportunity to, to uh, still skate with the Red Wing alumni. Uh, we do a lot of it. We practice. We uh, attend a lot of charity golf outings in the summer. So, you know, when you're traveling with these other guys who played the game and have played sports and all that, I think it keeps you young. Be a Player Trivia is brought to you by EA Sports NHL 2001. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Only two players have won the Hart Trophy with two different teams. Who are they? Hart Trophy with two different teams. Hard thing to do. Oh. Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky and who's the other one? Who do you win with? Oilers. Oilers and Kings, Kings. right? That's right. That's right. We got one more. Yeah, another player. Yeah. Is he still in auction? There's one player is active and one player is not active. Wayne Gretzky. Who else? Still active. Still active? Still active. Mark Messier and uh, Ooh, not Brett Hall. If Mesco went in New York, it'd be Messi. Do you remember him when he got that? What was it, 94? The year, the year they won the cup, okay. Yeah, he won okay. the heart. So, so Messi and, Mess and Wayne, yeah. Goal last night as LA tied in Minnesota. Messi scores! Mark Messi! I'm here now at the Ice House, the brand new push start training facility here at Canada Olympic Park. And joining me now are two members of the Canadian women's bobsleigh team ready to take gold in Salt Lake. With me now is Christy Lees and Lisa Stringer. Guys, you guys want to do this? Let's go. Well, before we go, I want to thank Val Bure for schooling me at tennis. And remember, make sure you catch next week's show as we'll profile more of the greatest players in the game today. Let's go. NHLPA.com is your source for the latest stats, scores, and NHL player information. Click on Be a Player for the latest show information or send us your questions and comments. You'll find it all at NHLPA.com. Brett Lindros' clothing supplied by The Coop, clothing for men, Toronto. So, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm proud in the saddle. Thank you, Albert. Proud in the saddle. If you go up here, there's a little thing. I need your D-rings hold that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Lisa. Let's go. Come on, Worthington. Come with me. Cooperate. It's a tough gig I got here. It's another great day in Calgary. I knew we were going to do something fun today. <laughs>